It's increasingly clear in the world today that the most reliable defender of a country is its army, not any treaties or alliances. For Japan, separated from one and a half billion strong China by just the Sea of Japan, and with which it has historically had very difficult relations, the issue of having a combat-ready military is becoming more and more relevant every year. One of the many ways to solve this problem is to create a super-modern fighter to withstand the Chinese armada of more than 3,000 aircraft, most of which belong to the 4 Plus and 4 Plus Plus generation, the J-10 and J-11B fighters. And there are already some fifth-generation machines, the J-20. The ratio of Chinese to Japanese combat aircraft is simply appalling for the Japanese, 6 to 1. What does the land of the rising sun intend to counter this real threat? What kind of aircraft does Japan intend to build? Let's look into it. The main combat aircraft of the Japanese armed forces is the F-2 bomber fighter, which is a joint development of the Japanese company Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and American Lockheed Martin. In fact, the F-2 is a heavily revised version of the F-16. The planes even have slightly different silhouettes. The Japanese are slightly larger than the American, Japan has a total of 97 F-2 fighters and about 200 even older F-15J fighters. Initially, Japan planned to replace the aging F-2 Generation 4 Plus aircraft with the American Predators, the 5th Generation F-22. But it turned out that adding another two in the name of the aircraft model would not work. In 1997, the US Congress decided not to export the F-22 Raptor, despite great interest from Japan the technology used in this fighter, the first of its generation, was deemed too important. And then the Predator was withdrawn from production altogether. Japan decided to develop its own fifth generation fighter. This led to the birth of the experimental X-2 Shinshin. Despite a successful first flight in 2016, the project was deemed too expensive. Then Lockheed Martin offered the Japanese Defense Ministry a very extravagant solution to combine the F-35 Lightning II and F-22 Raptor designs into one aircraft. The Japanese wisely declined this risky undertaking. Soberly assessing the situation, the Japanese, in our opinion, took an unexpected but most correct decision to abandon attempts to create a fifth-generation fighter and immediately create an aircraft of the next sixth generation. And for the period of time when this super-modern aircraft will be created, to cover themselves from China and North Korea with American Lightning, the F-35 aircraft. So in 2018, Japan sent out a request to buy 63 Lockheed Martin F-35A and 42 F-35B short takeoff and landing fighters simultaneously with the commissioning of two Izumo-type helicopter carriers. It was decided to modify these ships, the largest in the Japanese Navy, to accommodate the F-35B fighters. The Japanese government has allocated $48 billion for the development of a sixth-generation fighter, which has already been named FX. At the same time, it's expected to produce 90 such aircraft. That is, the cost of one copy will be astronomical – $533 million, over half a billion dollars for one plane. For that money, it's possible to buy three times as many F-35s, but the Japanese are going for such expenses and they have good reasons for it. You need fewer pilots for 90 planes than for 270, and the Japanese armed forces are more strapped for manpower than money. And the figure of 270 scares them more than 48 billion. Second, the money spent on FX will largely go to Japanese companies and could turn Japan into a first-class military aerospace power that'll no longer be dependent on American companies and export policies. And now about the Japanese fighter of the sixth generation. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries was naturally appointed as the lead developer. In all, more than a thousand Japanese companies will participate in the project. It's assumed that the FX will be larger than the F-22. Therefore, it's already been nicknamed Godzilla. The large size indicates that the Ministry of Defense wants the aircraft to have a very long range and large payload. Compared to its predecessors, the FX will replace hydraulics with electric actuators. The reason for this decision is the complexity of the stealth fighter's cabin design. When designing the stealth aircraft, the internal weapons compartment and air intakes have to be taken into account. However, problems arose with the installation of hydraulic system piping due to insufficient rigidity. 
The adoption of electric actuators eliminated the limitations as they're connected only through electrical wiring. A reduction in the weight of the aircraft is also achieved. To reduce weight, several technologies and manufacturing methods will be implemented in the FX, in particular abandoning the use of fasteners in favor of bonding composite materials. Aluminum alloys and carbon fiber reinforced polymer will be used to create a heat shield for the engine. The FX's predecessor, the F2 fighter, used carbon fiber reinforced polymer only for the lower part of its wings. In the FX, the entire fuselage will be made of carbon fiber. To improve stealth aircraft detection, the FX will use an electronically scanned active grid radar. The aircraft will have a self-defense radio frequency system. It'll instantly turn off its radio waves if necessary. The radar will be able to operate in a microwave weapon mode, frying the electronics of approaching missiles. To increase stealth, in addition to radio-absorbing materials, the FX will use stealth plasma antenna technology to deflect radio waves. The antenna works by creating a temporary plasma that can change its physical properties through electrical control. When activated, the antenna is also capable of transmitting and receiving messages. The FX will be powered by two XF9 engines, which have yet to be developed. The officially announced thrust levels are 11 and 16.5 tons with the afterburner. This is slightly less than the F119 engines on the F22 Raptor. At the same time, the FX will be heavier than the American, so it's likely to be inferior in speed and maneuverability characteristics. The engines will be equipped with nozzles with three-dimensional thrust vector, which allows the aircraft to achieve high maneuverability, not inferior to the Russian Su-57 and the same F-22. The FX will be armed with six ASM-3 anti-ship missiles, which will be placed inside the fuselage. The ASM-3 has a speed of over 3 Mach and hits targets at a range of up to 400 kilometers, plus a microwave weapons mode at the radar. Each FX jet will be capable of flying up to three drones, which can be equipped with either reconnaissance equipment or missiles. The drones will improve the FX's offensive capabilities while significantly reducing the vulnerability of the manned aircraft to enemy attacks. The aircraft will also possibly incorporate a high-speed data transmission technology called Integrated Fire Control for Fighters IFCF, which could allow Japanese and possibly U.S. fighters to combine their sensors, improving the accuracy of missiles beyond the line of sight. In developing such an ambitious project, Japan will be supported technically by Lockheed Martin with regard to airframe design and system integration. The first will almost certainly include advice on radio absorption materials as well as other techniques used by the firm to reduce the radar cross-section of its F-22 and F-35 fighters. Japan also hopes to pick Northrop Grumman's brain, especially regarding sensor and network warfare technology, which is widely used in the Grumman Super Hornet. The E-2D Advanced Hawkeye Long Range Radar Detection and Control Aircraft and the F-35 Multi-Sensor Distributed Aperture System. Tokyo has also stated a desire for input from the British company BAE Systems on the design, especially on the aim of interfering with electronic warfare and self-defense assets. BAE is the developer of the AN-ASQ-239 Electronic Warfare System for the F-35 Lightning. Japan plans to build the first FX prototype in 2024. The first flight will take place in 2028 and begin operation in 2035. As we can see, Tokyo proposed its vision of the sixth-generation combat aircraft. Despite the rapid development of artificial intelligence, the Japanese see such a machine controlled by humans but working in conjunction with several unmanned drones. But such technology is already being developed by the Russians for their fifth-generation fighter Su-57. They've already tested a heavy drone Su-70 Hunter for it and are going to supply it to the troops from 2024. Guided thrust vectoring has also been successfully implemented in the American F-22 and the Russian Su-35 and Su-30. So how then will the Japanese 6th generation fighters be fundamentally different from the existing 5th generation machines? So far, judging by the available information, the stealth of the aircraft will be significantly increased due to the fuselage made entirely of carbon fiber and the use of controlled plasma. Another significant innovation, the appearance of microwave weapons for protection against missiles, and that's about it. Don't you think that this is not enough to consider it a next generation airplane? What do you think? It'll be interesting to know how the main players, the USA, China, and Russia, see the sixth generation combat aircraft.
Write your thoughts in the post below this video. If you liked it, give your likes, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll have a lot more interesting videos.